Hey, this is James Pelton. I have another project for you today. And uh, this one drew my attention because I'm always looking for ways. I have three kids. I've got a nine-year-old girl, an eight-year-old boy, and a six-year-old boy. And I'm always trying to find ways to get them involved in my crypto journey. Um, they love playing with my crabs. That doesn't sound right. Um, they love playing with my chickens. <laughs> um, so I ran into this Petropolis. Uh, Micro Pets is the name of the game. And just very cool. I, I spoke with uh, Tony. So it's a fully doxxed team, and the first thing I noticed is this is this is uh, not just like a you know uh, indie startup, but this is a real company that's looking to do real things in the space. Tony's a really smart guy, entrepreneur. So a very very cool project. You can go watch their trailer. I'm not going to show it on here, but it's really well made. They have you know 3D artists. Um, and they're looking to do some big things. So I kind of want to start with what they're looking to create for the future and what you're able to do right now and kind of work my way backwards. So they're looking to create a full uh, metaverse um, called the Pet called uh, Petropolis is the name of it. And you get a little bit of a picture here of what they're like trying to build. And this is they say it's going to be available. The land sale will be Q3, Q4 of 2022. And these pets tokens, which we're going to talk a little bit about here, um, are going to be very important um, for this this land sale. Okay, so the pets token um, is going to have a lot of value, especially it's going to kind of be the governance token of Petropolis is what they're looking to uh, looking to do. So here we're going to go do this. We're going to do a live crate reveal. So you can either buy pets or you can buy from the marketplace or you can buy a crate where you get a random pet. And I'm going to do a live crate reveal. Okay, I always see YouTubers doing things like this. And so I'm actually pretty excited, but you have to wait. Um, that's not uh, not here yet. Um, of course, yeah, I'll put links to their Discord, to their Telegram. They have a mobile game that's coming out soon. Okay, um, you can see it's going to have like one of these runner things. And according to Tony... Um, this could potentially, with how they're working it out with Apple, this could potentially be the only play to earn game in the App Store. Okay, so we're, uh, we're not sure, but that's coming soon. Okay, we don't have a date on that yet. Um, and then your pet, which this is the part that you can do now, your pet, and we're going to open a crate so I can get my pet, um, is going to be connected to what you're playing with in the game and what you're using in the Petropolis, leveling their skills collecting resources, battling foes, and building homes, shops, and games. Okay, so this is, again, this is something they're looking to build. Now let's back up to where we're at now. Okay, so for now, Petropolis is not alive yet, but you can still get your pet for now, okay? So first off, I'm bummed we missed this uh, Space Keepsake NFT. So they had this opportunity where you could, like, draw a draw something. I, I don't exactly know how it worked, but then they minted these NFTs, and then blasted them into space on a Falcon 9 rocket, partnered with Celestis. So they're, I assume they're up in the air flying right now. So uh, Tony, they, they just have some cool things that they're doing. Um, they're always having creative little things like that. Um, so if you would like a pet, here's the different pets that you can get. And they do, you can stake them and they do earn a passive income. So they do earn a return. So it does fit on my channel, okay? Um, and just so you know, I didn't receive anything for making this video, okay? Not sponsored, um, just liked the project, liked Tony. Um, and obviously, the more rare, this is kind of like how much you make from those things. So obviously, if you get a unicorn, that's worth the most, but it's the least likely that you're going to get it, okay? And I'll just kind of show you a little bit how that works and what kind of return you can get. So first off, um, it's 225 million pets tokens to uh, get a pet, okay? So um, I already have 225 million. Actually, I'll buy another 225 million. Look at that, I'm going all out on this project. So you're gonna swap B and B or whatever. So this is about, uh, that's about like $300-ish. $277 is how much that is. So we're gonna swap that. So now I can open two crates. So we're gonna do a double crate reveal. And actually, I'm gonna do that because there's, you can evolve a pet, but to do that, you have to burn. And do, by the way, don't worry. Some of you comment, hey, you're showing us your pin. But actually, how Trezor does it is it's random which number is which on the screen. So you don't know my pin. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The first number is one. Okay. It's not my birth year. 
All right, so now I should have five, after this is done uh, pending, I should have 500 million pets tokens, or uh, 450 million pets tokens. Sorry, math is very difficult for me. So let me just make sure I got that. And then I'll open two crates, and you're going to get to see um, what I use. But yeah, I want to buy two because to evolve, you have to burn one of the same or greater rarity. So that's actually kind of sad, um, burning one of your pets. But it's how you end up evolving them. Okay, so let me connect my wallet. You have to connect it up here, even though that looks like a button. Don't be deceived. So you're going to connect up here. Okay, and then I had to approve it. I approved it already. There's only 300 of these left in season two. I'm going to buy this 450 million micro pets. Confirm that bad boy. Are you guys excited to see what I get? What if I get two bunnies? That would be so disappointing. I can barely take the... Uh... Hey, kiddos! Come here, I'm going to open a crate with a pet in it. You going to see what I open? Hey, come here. Come be in my video. Hey, Hayden. Or, yeah, or just Everett, okay? Come on the screen, bud. We're going to open my crate so they can see you. We're going to see what I open, okay? This is my son, Everett. I've not had him in a video before. You ready, bud? Yeah. We're going to see what I open. Are you excited? I'm so excited. These are the different things it could be. A bunny, a wolf, a cat, a tiger, a whale, a frog, a fox, a gorilla, or a unicorn. Which one do you hope it is? I hope it is a frog. The frog? Yeah. Pepe? All right. So bunnies the least. So hopefully we didn't get two bunnies. Opening the crate. Let's see what we got. Bunny. I got two bunnies. Well, so that's a little disappointing. Two, two rabbits. Now I'm going to burn one. How do you guys feel about that? Pet? Evolve. I'm evolving a pet. So you evolve to make more money, okay? I'll show you here in a minute. You need to burn a pet of the same variety. They should call it something other than burning. Yeah, I know. They should. You're free. Approve. Kids, don't burn pets. <laughs> I won't burn pants. Only you burn pets. Did you say burn pants? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not going to burn pets. Good. All right, so now my bunny uh, is evolving for 14 days. Um, you can buy a booster that makes it only seven days, but I did not do that. Um, also, you can put it, put it on the marketplace, um, but what I want to do is I want to stake it. Okay, because that's where you get the rewards. Um, so for staking, well, I have to wait till he evolves. But here's where you'd go in your pet folio. You can go to staking. Um, you can ignore this level up and rank up because that's with season one. The marketplace, you can go buy specific pets, which if I knew I had got, was going to get two bunnies, maybe I would have done. So, but then if you want to find out how much you're going to make, you go over to this analytics tab, okay? And so you can... Uh, for non-evolved, you can claim and get pets tokens, and this shows you about how much pets token per day you would get. So I think bunny is probably the lowest. So, oh, some of the baby ones are the lowest. So bunny would have gotten me 125,000 tokens a day, um, which easy way to find out how much that would be worth is just putting this to BUSD in here. So they wouldn't have made very much money um, as pets tokens. So about 15 cents a day. But when you evolve them, then you can actually claim BNB for them. So an evolved bunny makes a dollar seventeen a day. Okay, so um, again, if I had gotten something better, the bunny is about the worst thing that it is the worst. I guess there's three things under it. But so I make thirty five, thirty six bucks a month from that bunny that I just bought. So um, the return wasn't great on that one, but I might just. Uh, claim in pets token anyways if I want to be part of the metaverse someday. So when that evolves, I can stake it in the pet folio and uh, start making that 35 bucks a month. And hopefully you get you get luckier. Um, some of these, like the unicorns, um, if I go back to page one, yeah, they can make like 200 bucks a month. So, and then for the non-evolved ones, you can claim as pets after you evolve then you can claim as uh, you can claim actual BNB. 
You can claim BNB with a tax or you can reinvest as pets for free. And in the pets pool, you can claim or you can claim as credit that you can use, I believe, in the marketplace. So, yeah, very cool. So now I have a, a bunny evolving. Maybe we'll check back on him periodically. So all in all, I think it's a pretty fun project. My kids really like it. Um, I'll probably end up having to buy them their own. You know how it goes with, uh, with kids and things like that. So if you're interested in getting involved, I would recommend that you go buy yourself. Get Well, first off, get some pets tokens. Go buy a couple of crates. Evolve. Get that stake. Start earning pets. Um, be ready. Keep your eye out for the mobile game. And join the Discord. Join their, uh, Follow them on Twitter. And be ready for the land sale. That's kind of the next thing that's coming. Um, but that'll be Q3 or Q4 um, of this year. So all in all, pretty fun project. Hope that you find this enjoyable. Hope you find it cool. Um, again, I'm always on the lookout. Feel free to comment down below or shoot me things that you're looking at that you think are cool and uh, happy to take a look. But yeah, thanks so much for your support. Have a great rest of your day.